I'm Andrew, and today I'm going to show you how I use the Beastie Boys album Hello Nasty as an inspiration to make an awesome shadow box. It's all for the big YouTube collaboration, Makers Rock. Stick around until the end and I'll tell you how you could win this project and how you can check out lots of other awesome builds. Most of this project is going to be made from half inch plywood. I cut a square about 12 inches by 12 inches on the table saw. Then I marked a circle and cut it out for the center part of the album with my jigsaw and cleaned it up with a belt sander. I hit both pieces with primer. Not strictly necessary, but I thought I'd fill in the wood grain for a more uniform surface to paint on later. I painted the background piece with yellow, a couple coats. The center sun circle I hit with yellow and mixed up a couple different shades of orange to get the final color transitions I wanted here. I sped up the process of getting this to dry by hitting the wet paint with a hair dryer. The background piece then got hit with black spray paint to mimic the album cover. I've got this piece painted, this piece painted, a couple holes drilled in the base plate that I'll screw from the back side to center this and attach it to it. On the original artwork, there's kind of a corona around this outside edge of kind of white. So I want to mark this, go back in and paint that before I attach it together. When that was dry, I painted the red solar flare kind of things on. Finally, it looked like the painting was done. Now on to the fun part. The original album cover had the Beastie Boys in a sardine tin. It's a lyric from one of the songs. After doing some math and some measurements, I realized that an actual sardine tin would be the perfect size for this project. So let's move on to the canned meat portion of this video. The can of sardines I found didn't have the little metal key I needed, so I actually had to buy a can of corned beef and Grab the key off that. I have never eaten sardines. I don't anticipate I ever will after opening this can up. Ugh. 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 That's just disgusting. Oh, I gotta dump that outside. After a thorough cleaning, I was in business. Took it out to the garage, cleaned away part of the lip on the container to match the one on the album, but I kept the lip around the bottom for attaching the new top later. I really should have used gloves while I was doing this, but I managed to get this done without cutting myself. I made the new lid out of a piece of aluminum roof flashing. I had a roll of it, so I cut off a piece, cut it down to the right size. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is recreate this lip here. Since this is a flat piece of flashing, it's pretty plain. I want to try to recreate this lip here. And after experimenting a little bit with a piece of scrap, I kind of like this profile, which I actually just got by running the edge of this paintbrush on this with this t-shirt underneath it to absorb some of the force. I think that's a usable profile there. So let's lay this out on here, put our straight edge along it, run it on this side. Same thing over here. And then connect the ends. Yeah, gives it the kind of indication of it. Next stop is to roll this up. And instead of the Beastie Boys, I used some Star Wars figures to stand in for Mike D, MCA, and Ad Rock. I hot glued the heck out of them and the lid, then slipped in the little metal key with some more hot glue, and it was starting to come together. So here's the next challenge, mounting this to the background, and I wanna do it at an angle, like so will work. 
Luckily, I found a piece of scrap wood laying around my shop that was already cut uh, to cut off of something else. It's one of the advantages of being a slob because you find stuff like this laying around your shop when you need it. I think I'll put that right under there, fasten that in place with a little hot glue, maybe a couple brad nails to tack that down, and we'll be close to done. Still a lot to go, but getting close. Maybe hot glue on this edge and five minute epoxy here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, do that. All right. That should be good for right now. It'll be time soon to start making the frame. Next, I cut some acrylic to the same size as the base plate. This will wind up being the front of this shadow box frame. Then I cut some four inch wide strips of half inch plywood to make the frame. These are longer than I need right now. I cut one slot along one edge for the acrylic sheet and a wider groove cut in two passes on the table saw on the other side that will hold in the back. I wanted the inside of these pieces black, but I didn't want paint where the corners would come together later. So I decided to go ahead and spray the whole thing black for now. Then when I cut the miters, I'll expose fresh wood for the glue up. It saves me a lot of time masking it off at this point. Lots of taping the pieces together after they're painted and cut and sliding the acrylic in place, making sure everything is square and the back will fit in. After it dried, I removed all the tape, then cleaned up the outside with some sandpaper. By setting it face down and putting the album in place, I didn't have to mask off anything here while I lacquered the outside. I put a few small screws in the back to hold everything in place. So why did I make this? It's for a big YouTube team up collaboration called Makers Rock where makers are recreating 90s album covers. It's a great chance for you to meet some makers you maybe haven't seen before and see how everybody's different creative process plays out on similar projects. There are links to all the makers who participated down in the description. Make sure you take the time to go down, give them a follow and check out what they came up with. And the best part, we're giving away everything we made. If you're watching this video before April 4th, 2018, you have a chance to win. You can win mine by going down to the comments below, telling me your favorite Beastie Boys album or song. I'll randomly pick one winner and ship this off to you. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to take the time to subscribe also so you can check out anything else I might come up with and make sure you check out all the other participants and Makers Rock. Ooh, I almost forgot. I do have some vinyl graphics coming for the lettering of the album cover. They're being printed up right now. I didn't get a chance to include them in this video because I had to post it by a certain date. But if you follow me on Instagram, when they come in, I'll put up some pictures of the project all together. And that's the version of it that'll get shipped off to the winner.